Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. This big ass box is from CGC. So the very first submission I've ever done uh, on comic books is here. I didn't know what was in the box. I The tracking didn't say it was coming in. So check it out. Oh, this, you can see the grades. Uh, so just to be, I'm, I'm expecting very low grades because um, these were comics I had as a kid. It was like 20, I don't know, maybe 26 comics or something like that. Um, and, you know, I've had them since I was a kid, so I, I don't think they're in great shape just because I, um, you know, I was a kid. I was reading comics. So here we go. Here's the very first comic. I've never seen a CGC. Oh, I just saw the grade, darn it. Um, well, there you go. You see a nine. This is Infinity Gauntlet number six. Um, it's got a nine on this. I'll let you... Oh, man, this is so cool. I've never never seen one of these. I've never had one in my life. Um, a graded comic. And when I was a kid, I used to... I, I never liked having the barcode, but I guess that's more rare. So a lot of mine would have the logo. I preferred to have the logo. I just like the look of it. So anyway, this got a nine. Um, white Pages has... The story is by Jim Starlin, Ron and Ron Lim and Joe Rubenstein did the art. That's pretty cool. I mean, I, I like that they write all that out. Like, I didn't know all that. You know, I just read the comics as a kid. I liked Infinity Gauntlet. Um, I don't know how I got into it, but, uh, but I did. And I liked it. So there you go. That's number six. And this is from my own personal collection. So here's the next comic. I'll try not to... Uh, let's see if I can cover it that time. I don't know if I covered it. This is the back of the comic and oh wrong side. Oh 5.5 you assholes uh, I'm a little surprised. I thought this was actually one of my better Comics, but uh, you know I'm not disappointed. That's cool Let's see um, Well, let me let me take this down. So there you go 5.5 on that bad boy I'm gonna speed it up a little bit Especially for folks who have seen this done before. I'm not one of them. Okay, so the, the, the numbers on the side. So let me try to cover it. <laughs> Covered it. This is uh, issue five of Infinity Gauntlet. And a 9.4? Oh, that's not bad at all. I mean, considering I read these comics. So, so here's what I was talking about. I like, I like having a, a design versus a barcode. Just preference. Wow, I mean, I'm, ex I'm very surprised that... Uh, at that grade. All right, cool. Um, you know, maybe I'll put it this way. Gotta push this against the old back window there. Uh, covered it, covered it. Oh, the Alien vs. Predator. So I had um, zero through four um, of these, and I thought they were an amazing shape. Uh, 8.5, not as good as I thought. Um, but that's not bad, man. 8.5 white pages. There you go. Uh, what's next? Let's grab a random one. Try to cover it. Oh, yeah, Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man number 365. This is the black one. Uh, as a kid, uh, my brother and I, we, we bought all these. He has all the other colored ones uh, as well as the black one, and I had only this one. I don't know why, but oh, 9.4. Pretty cool. So I'm not going to keep these forever. There's only certain comics I want to keep forever in my collection. These are just kind of fun for me to do. I love Venom comics, so I ended up buying this as a kid. I think, um, I don't know, maybe 5 or $8. I spent more on this because I liked Venom a lot. Uh, I tried to buy issue 300 as a kid. It was just out of my price range, and now it's even more out of pri my price range. But here we go, 5.5. .5. Okay, well. I read through this a couple different times, so kind of expected um, for the low grades, like I said. Here we go. Next comic up is AVP number three. 9.6. See what I'm saying? I, I thought these were in good shape. Um, 9.6. Alien vs. Predator. Uh, issue three. I was hoping for a higher grade on the issue, um, issue zero, but it wasn't. Here's issue number two, cool artwork. I hope you're able to see that, um, 9.0. So I'll try to flatten that out a bit so you can not get too much glare without taking this plastic off. All right. Uh, 
next up is Alien vs. Predator issue number one. Uh, 9.4. Very cool. Very, very cool. There you go. Oh, can't reach. All right. Infinity Gauntlet number three. 9.0. This one actually, um, I bought like a, a grab bag or whatever it's called. Um, and this, I think, I think it was this issue was in there. So I didn't submit my original. I submitted the one that somebody gave me because it was in way better shape than mine. Um, oh, this is just Predator from Dark Horse. I had a couple uh, Predator 1 and 2, so I, I submitted them. 9.2, they were in good shape. Uh, 9.2 kind of states that. Oh, all these are kind of falling. Let me see here. Yeah, they all kind of fell over. Let me push them back. Nice. Oh, there we go. Infinity Gauntlet number two. 9.0. Very cool. I mean, these, these grades are way better than I was expecting. Just because... Um, you know, they weren't in great shape. So this one uh, had this as a kid. I loved reading uh, Amazing Spider-Man. This had Spawn and Carnage. This is the second printing. Uh, I wasn't able to get the first printing back then. This was in rough shape. Um, 8.5. I could already see some marks. And I read through this comic a few different times. I do have white pages, so surprised. But most of these just sat in my... Um, sat in my uh, box. I didn't, I didn't have a lot of comics left over from childhood i think i only had 20 something left over uh, i used to have all the ghost rider comics and sold those so here we go um infinity gauntlet number four this one um i thought was in pretty good shape uh i guess not 8.0 white pages still uh, i'm gonna have to set these right here uh ah smash my fingers uh infinity gauntlet num oh i guess i did submit Mine and his, and the version that I got, 8.5, so that's probably mine. There you go, 8.5. This is so cool, man. <laughs> I like it. I like, I like this. Um, all right. Oh, man. All right, I'm just going to start from the back. Um, oh, this one. So I bought this off an auction. I mean, it's pretty beat up. Uh, I liked it. I thought it was a cool issue. Ooh, 5.5. Yeah. Well, like I said, I was expecting lower graded comics, but uh, 5.5 .5 on issue number eight. And then we have, oh, I bought this from the same auction place. This is a Wolverine issue number three, and this is a 6.5. This was released in 1982 and still have white pages, so not too shabby. Right, and then we're gonna go with oh, Infinity Gauntlet number one. Um, definitely read this a few different times. Seven point five white pages. Meh. All right. I don't know what the you know value is in these cards. I don't know what's good, what's bad. Um, so you know, um, Spider Man twenty ninety nine issue one nine point oh. Uh, sorry, I was saying um, resale value. I don't know what's good or bad. Um, oh, Spawn, I had a couple of these. Uh, I thought they were in great shape. Um, now that I'm looking at it, not so much. But before I submitted it, I thought it was good. Uh, 8.0. White pages, though. You know, it's got to be worth something. Um, okay, next one. Oh, another Spawn, issue one. Here we go. Um, 8.5, a little bit better than that one. These guys are good. Uh, how many more? Okay, so I have, looks like I have three more comics. Oi. Holy crikey. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. So these should be the Spider-Man, um, uh, Carnage issues, uh, coming up. So here we go. This is another issue of 2099. 9.6. Right on, man. That's a good one. 
Uh, this is a, a number three in that three-part series, Introducing Carnage. 9.0, not bad. And second issue, 9.4. Nice. Nice, nice. And all of my comics said white pages, so that's a good thing. Let me double check the box, which I think we already cleared out. Got some paperwork on the bottom. Uh, this is showing CGC is hiring, so if you guys are in need of a job and live near wherever they are, Florida headquarters, I guess, um, you know, apply for a job with those guys. On the last piece of paper is, I guess, where you could resell them. Well, there you go. Um, that was pretty cool. I, I might submit a... I, I ended up buying maybe a couple more comics that I'd be willing to submit for sale i mean for for grading but for now um there you go that's the old comic return cgc return uh thank you guys for watching and let me know your thoughts and thank you guys again see you next time bye